Welcome back fellow coders, Jared O'Leary here with Boot Up. In this video, I wanna show you how you can animate a GIF in Scratch. Now, if we um, have a GIF saved on our computer, we can go and choose a sprite. This also works as a backdrop, but I prefer it as a sprite. And go to Upload. And then you find the GIF that's on your computer. And this one I found just by searching for it. And it's going to import the GIF. And because I use this, uh, choose a sprite and upload sprite, it imports it right here as a sprite. Now, if you take a look at this, under the costumes, it's got a bunch of costumes. Now, the reason why is because a GIF is really just a series of several different costumes that are being switched um, to basically play it back like a movie plays. Now, to make it so that this GIF uh, is animated in Scratch, all we have to do is simply tell uh, Scratch to go to the next costume and just uh, do this either a specific number of times or forever. So when I press the green flag, now it makes it so that our GIF uh, does the arm movements. Now, uh, if your GIF is moving too fast, you can uh, add in a wait for like 0.1 seconds, and then it's going to slow it down. Or maybe if that's too slow, you can make it, that's not what I wanted to put that at zero, 0 0.01. So that slows it down a little bit, or maybe 0.05 slows it down a different amount, etc. So that's all you have to do. You simply go and uh, choose a sprite, upload the sprite, just make sure that it's a GIF. Uh, you'll know if it is, if it imports in a bunch of costumes, like this one has 75 different costumes. And then simply add in the code so that when you press a green flag, forever go to the next costume. And if it's going too fast, simply add in a wait, and that'll make it uh, so that it slows down. And by the way, in case you're wondering, it's pronounced GIF, not GIF, it's not peanut butter. Also, you don't pronounce graphical, graphical, right? Because the G, graphical, yeah, it, it's not it's not GIF. But anyways, I digress. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you have some fun putting some GIFs, not GIFs, in your project. Hey, everyone. If you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. If you're not watching us on YouTube, you can find us on that platform as well as other social media outlets by searching for Boot Up PD. And if you're looking for more free lessons, projects, and resources for teachers and students, visit us at bootuppd.org, where you can also learn about our high-quality professional development.